The main body of the, the square is a cast steel. Into this we have a level set into it so we can level up our work. A nice knurl screw fitting if we release this and we can slide the rule in and out. We've got metric on the one side, imperial on the other. This imperial measurement is down to 64ths. If we want to, we can take this out. We can flip it around or flip it over the other way, in which case we've actually got measurements down to 30 seconds. So really quite adaptable. As a straight edge and a rule, it's also pretty damn good. Good clean square ends on it. The spring on here, as we push them in and out on that knurled nut, it's got to get it lined up so we can put the rule back in there and when you tighten him down he's nice and firm one of the standard things you're going to use your combination square for is marking up your face side face edge and squaring around your timber good crisp line on here and you could mark your lines all the way around to get you a continuous box or you might use him again for 45 degrees you can mark your lines on there. You can come back as a square from the other way if you were doing something like a bird's mouth. And also we can use him for testing how square our timber is, both face side to face edge or on your end grain. We can set him up on the millimetre ruler or the inch ruler if you're using it to any particular size. And either use it for marking power line lines for set out that by 10 mil from there so great for doing that general marking out work also we can measure the depth of timbers and use it as a continuous marker again if we were trying to get lengths of stuff marked off on loads and loads of components before we come back and do our major squaring work so you use them as a rule as well. If you're out on site and you've forgotten your pencil, or if you're doing work marking up some metal work, then in the end of the square, screw out is a nice little sharp scribe. So you could use him as well, but more useful possibly on metal work, but it does give you a very crisp line in wood as well. So the combination of square is a classic bit of kit for doing carpentry work. You can use it for setting out positions on your door linings for where your arthur drives might come in we would have put a line down the jam kind of same across the head we can mark out our 45 degrees we could also reset him to the thickness of our door plus a little bit so we could set out our door stops in the right position or if we were dropping the hinge into here we could set him out off the hinge so we could mark the top down the back and the length as well before we come and chop him out 